I'm Beck and food's my life. In today's video I thought I must make a pavlova just in time for Christmas. This recipe is one that has never let me down, so it's coming right up. Everybody needs to have pavlova in their recipe collection. It's an Australian classic dessert. It doesn't consist of many ingredients, it's easy to do, although it can be tricky. Sometimes making pavlova can be hit or miss. So I'm making a recipe today that has never failed me before and I'll show you how it's done. Now a couple of things. I've just put my oven on to preheat at 150 degrees Celsius. Today I'm using my stand mixer and I have the whisk attachment on. Now of course you can do this with a regular good old hand beater as well. That's fine. I have four simple ingredients. One cup of caster sugar, two tablespoons of corn flour, I'll be using two teaspoons of white vinegar, and I have four egg whites at room temperature. I also have a flat tray ready to go with my baking paper on top. Okay, step one, I'm going to add my egg whites to a nice clean, dry bowl. Now we're going to whisk this on medium to high speed until these egg whites are nice and stiff. So after a couple of minutes of whisking, these egg whites are now in stiff peaks, they're holding their shape, so I know this is a good time to stop. The next step now is really important that we get it right because this is where sometimes people can go wrong when they're making pavlova. So the next step is about adding our caster sugar. In a minute I'm going to start whisking again and very slowly I'm going to add a tablespoon of caster sugar at a time. It's really important that the sugar is dissolved in those egg whites because if you haven't beaten it until the sugar has dissolved, that's when sometimes your pavlovas can weep. Often you'll notice sometimes there's like a sugar syrup coming out of your pavlova and that's exactly what it is. The sugar that hasn't dissolved has now formed a liquid and it's oozing out of your pavlova and we don't want that. So whisking starts again. Medium speed, little at a time. Eventually, once I've finished all this sugar, the consistency should look thick and glossy. And the best way to check if your sugar has dissolved is to take a little bit between your fingers and if it feels gritty, keep on whisking. Don't forget to always stop and scrape down the sides of your bowl. And this would also be a really good time to stop and feel that egg white. I can still feel there's some granules there, so my sugar hasn't dissolved yet. I'm going to scrape down the sides of the bowl now and keep on whisking. Time for another check. There, perfect. No sugar granules, so we're ready to go for the next step. So at this stage, we're going to add two tablespoons of sifted corn flour to our bowl and two teaspoons of white vinegar. Now we're going to whisk this again only until those two ingredients have just combined. Don't over whisk at this point. So those two ingredients that we just added are going to ensure that our pavlova is nice and marshmallowy in the middle. And that's it, our pavlova mixture is now finished. It's beautiful and thick and glossy. Oh, it reminds me of Christmas. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our spatula to shape our pavlova mixture onto the tray in whatever shape you want your dessert to be. And there you go. So I've gone for a bit of a rough, rustic kind of shape and look. You don't have to be neat, and that's the great thing about pavlova, is the more rustic it looks, the better, I think. When you put this in the oven, you've got to put your oven down to 120 degrees Celsius. And we're going to cook this for about one hour and 20 minutes. Now, when that time is up, do not take the pavlova out of the oven. Simply put your oven off, open the door slightly to let all the hot air out, and leave your pavlova in there. Don't touch it, leave it alone until it's completely cool at room temperature. 
This is just a really good way of drying out your pavlova completely. So once that's completely cool, it's time to decorate the top. Now if you're short on time, there's nothing wrong with grabbing a can of whipped cream and just going for it. Whatever you like, it doesn't matter and that's the great thing about pavlova. Whatever fruit is in season, use it. Make it colourful, make it bright. However, if you have the time, it's always best to make your own cream. And I like to do a Chantilly cream, so that's just thick and cream, you whip it up, you add a little bit of icing sugar, a little bit of vanilla essence or extract, and that is just so yummy. I'll add the recipe for that on my recipe for pavlova, by the way. Now, unfortunately, I can't come back for a taste test because I'm making this for a dinner party tonight, but I can assure you, this is gonna taste sensational. So if you wanna have a go at making my pavlova, make sure you check out the description box below, find the link to my website, and go from there. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, or better still, subscribe to my channel so you always know what I'm up to in the kitchen. And I'll see you next time.